morning students today we are uh, learn reading okay riki tiki tavi now read a story featuring sir featuring a mongoose and a snake it had rained heavily all night teddy a young boy of 10 ran out into the garden he saw a mongoose lying wet and still on the grass here a uh, dead mongoose teddy called out to his mother let's bury him no said teddy's mother his heart is beating faintly perhaps he will live let's take him inside and dry him teddy's father wrap him up and sorry in an old woolen muffler and placed him near the fire the mongoose sneezed teddy and his parents were delighted they gave him some meat and then took him outside he sat in the sun and shook his long fluffy tail till it looked like a bottle brush soon teddy and the little mongoose became very good friends the mongoose would run through the tall grass crying tiki 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 teddy used to laugh at him and started calling him riki tiki tavi one morning riki tiki was wandering about in the garden there he saw nag the big cobra cobra means a snake okay one kind of the snake and his wife nagina although riki tiki was young he knew that snakes were his enemies nag also knew that a yeah, mongoose in the garden meant death for him and his family it was night teddy cried tick, uh, riki tiki to his bed as usual but as soon as the boy was asleep riki tiki went off for his nightly walk round the house as he moved about he heard a faint sound it came from the bathroom of teddy's parents riki tiki quickly entered the bathroom he could hear nag and nagina talking on the other side of the bathroom door nagina was telling her husband kill the three people in the house na mangus will go away when there is no one left then he will have the garden to ourselves riki tiki sa nag slithering into the bathroom thought sorry through the drain nag knew that teddy's father would come to the bathroom around midnight so he coiled himself up and went to the went to sleep the riki tiki was hiding behind the door watching nag when nag was first fast asleep riki tiki jump on his head and duck his teeth into the snake's flesh nag was furious he threw his head from side to side and riki tiki was flung against the wall again and again riki tiki thought he was going to die he was a bleeding but he did not let go of his hold of nag's head during the struggle nag stay upset the mug and soap dish they fell to the ground with a clatter suddenly the wild struggling stop nag's head dropped down and did not move 
Teddy's father, who had entered the bathroom on hearing the noise, had shot Nag with his gun. Teddy's father picked up the bleeding Ricky Tiki and went back to his bedroom. He asked his wife to put some medicine on Ricky Tiki's wounds. I killed the snake, he said. But Ricky Tiki saved our lives. Teddy's mother washed Ricky Tiki's wounds with medicine. She petted his sore head and gave him some toughest. Under her loving care, Ricky Tiki felt better. So he fluffed up his tail and ran off to Teddy's room. Okay students, thank you. We will see next class.